In September 1859, the world witnessed the awe-inspiring yet terrifying power of the sun. A massive solar storm now known as the Carrington event struck Earth. This wasn't just a celestial light show. The Carrington event was a stark reminder of our planet's vulnerability to the sun's outbursts. Telegraph systems, the cutting-edge technology of the time, went haywire. Sparks flew from equipment, igniting fires and causing widespread disruption. The night sky erupted in vibrant auroras, usually only visible near the poles. These celestial displays reached as far south as the Caribbean, painting the night with an ethereal glow. The intensity of the storm was such that people could read newspapers by the light of the aurora. This event serves as a potent reminder of the potential impact of solar storms, even in our technologically advanced age. The Carrington event, while disruptive, occurred at a time when our reliance on technology was minimal. Today, our world is powered by an intricate network of technological systems. A solar storm of that magnitude today would have far-reaching consequences, highlighting the importance of understanding and preparing for these celestial events. The Sun, our life-giving star, is a dynamic and volatile celestial body. It constantly releases energy in various forms, including light and heat. However, the Sun also unleashes bursts of intense energy and charged particles into space. These eruptions are known as solar storms. These storms originate from two main phenomena, solar flares and coronal mass ejections, or CMEs. Solar flares are sudden, intense bursts of radiation from the Sun's surface. They release enormous amounts of energy in a short time, similar to a massive explosion. CMEs, on the other hand, are vast eruptions of plasma and magnetic fields from the Sun's corona, the outermost part of its atmosphere. When these charged particles and energy from solar storms reach Earth, they interact with our planet's magnetic field. This interaction can disrupt our planet's magnetic field, leading to a cascade of effects on our technology and infrastructure. Understanding these solar events is crucial for safeguarding our increasingly technology-dependent world. The Sun, like a living organism, goes through periods of increased and decreased activity. This ebb and flow of solar activity follow a cyclical pattern known as the solar cycle. Each solar cycle lasts approximately 11 years and is characterized by fluctuations in the number of sunspots, solar flares and CMEs. We are currently in solar cycle 25, which began in December 2019. Scientists predict that this cycle will peak in 2025, marking the period of solar maximum. During solar maximum, the sun is at its most active, with a higher frequency of sunspots, solar flares and CMEs. This heightened solar activity during the solar maximum increases the likelihood of Earth-directed solar storms. While not every solar storm poses a significant threat, the increased frequency during solar maximum raises the probability of experiencing more intense events. This makes 2025 a year of particular interest and concern for space weather forecasters and those responsible for protecting our technological infrastructure. As we approach the solar maximum in 2025, the possibility of a major solar storm impacting Earth looms. While predicting the exact timing and intensity of such an event is impossible, understanding the potential consequences is crucial for preparedness. A major solar storm could disrupt various aspects of our modern lives. One of the most significant concerns is the potential impact on power grids. Geomagnetic storms, disturbances in Earth's magnetic field caused by solar storms, can induce electric currents in long conductors like power lines. These currents, known as geomagnetically induced currents, or GICs, can overload transformers and cause widespread blackouts. The severity of such blackouts depends on the storm's intensity and the grid's vulnerability. Regions with longer power lines and interconnected grids are more susceptible. In a worst-case scenario, a major solar storm could lead to blackouts lasting weeks, months or even longer, crippling essential services and impacting daily life. Section 5. Power Grids Under Threat – The Invisible Disruptor Power grids, the backbone of our modern society, are particularly vulnerable to solar storms. 
These intricate networks of transmission lines, transformers and substations are designed to carry electricity over long distances. However, their very design makes them susceptible to geomagnetically induced currents, or GICs, during geomagnetic storms. GICs flow through the power grid, following the path of least resistance. They can overload transformers, causing them to overheat and fail. The failure of even a single transformer can have cascading effects, leading to widespread blackouts. The 1989 Quebec blackout caused by a relatively weak solar storm serves as a stark reminder of this vulnerability. The storm-induced GICs in the Hydro-Quebec power grid, leading to a province-wide blackout that lasted for nine hours. A more powerful storm could have far more devastating consequences, potentially crippling entire regions and causing billions of dollars in damage. Section 6. Satellites in peril, disrupting our technological lifeline. Our reliance on satellites is deeply embedded in our daily lives. From communication and navigation to weather forecasting and financial transactions, However, these technological marvels orbiting Earth are highly susceptible to the wrath of solar storms. The intense radiation and charged particles unleashed during a solar storm can damage sensitive satellite electronics. This can disrupt communication signals, degrade GPS accuracy and even render satellites inoperable. The loss or disruption of satellite services would have cascading effects on various sectors. Imagine a world without reliable GPS navigation, accurate weather forecasts, or stable communication networks. A major solar storm could disrupt these services, impacting transportation, emergency response, financial markets, and countless other aspects of modern life. Protecting our satellite infrastructure is crucial for maintaining the smooth functioning of our technology-dependent society. Section 7. Radio silence, when the airwaves fall quiet. Radio communication, a cornerstone of various industries and emergency services, is also vulnerable to the disruptive effects of solar storms. Solar flares with their intense bursts of radiation can interfere with high-frequency radio waves causing radio blackouts. These blackouts can disrupt communication systems used by aviation, maritime and emergency responders potentially hindering navigation coordination and disaster relief efforts. The impact is particularly pronounced at high latitudes, where high-frequency radio is often the only reliable means of communication. During a solar storm, the increased ionization in the Earth's upper atmosphere can absorb or scatter high-frequency radio waves, preventing them from reaching their intended destinations. This can lead to communication disruptions lasting minutes to hours, potentially isolating communities and hindering critical operations. Section 8. Beyond the horizon, auroras and aviation anxieties. While the potential for power grid failures, satellite disruptions and radio blackouts poses significant concerns, solar storms also bring about mesmerizing celestial displays, auroras. These vibrant dancing lights in the sky, typically seen near the Earth's poles, are caused by charged particles from the Sun interacting with our planet's atmosphere. During intense geomagnetic storms, auroras can extend to much lower latitudes than usual, captivating observers with their ethereal beauty. However, these captivating displays come with a caveat for the aviation industry. The same charged particles that create auroras can also disrupt radio communication and navigation systems used by aircraft, particularly those flying at high latitudes. Solar storms can also increase radiation exposure for passengers and crew, especially on flights over the poles. Airlines and aviation authorities closely monitor space weather forecasts to adjust flight paths and minimize risks during periods of heightened solar activity. Section 9, Preparing for the Storm Mitigation and Preparedness While the potential impacts of a major solar storm are significant, they are not insurmountable. Scientists and engineers are actively working to understand, predict and mitigate the risks associated with these events. By taking proactive measures, we can enhance our resilience and minimize disruptions. Space weather forecasting plays a crucial role in preparedness. Scientists continuously monitor the sun's activity using ground-based observatories and space-based spacecraft to detect solar flares and coronal mass ejections. These observations allow them to issue timely warnings to power grid operators, satellite operators and other stakeholders, providing valuable time to activate contingency plans. 
power grid, hardening involves implementing measures to protect the grid from the damaging effects of geomagnetically induced currents. This includes installing blocking devices, enhancing grid resilience through redundancy and alternative energy sources, and developing advanced forecasting models to anticipate and mitigate potential disruptions. Satellite operators can also take steps to protect their assets, such as adjusting satellite orientations to minimize exposure to radiation and developing more radiation-hardened electronics, while a major solar storm could undoubtedly pose significant challenges. It is not an apocalyptic scenario. By understanding the risks, investing in research and development, and implementing proactive mitigation strategies, we can navigate these celestial events and emerge with minimal disruptions. The key lies in preparedness, collaboration, and a commitment to safeguarding our technological infrastructure. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more updates.